Welcome, friends, to Expression Music. My name's Scott St. Marie. Everyone obsessed with Jethro Tull, I hope you discovered this video where I can meet some like-minded, obsessive, compulsive listeners of Ian Anderson. Now, three things are going to happen in this video. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to talk about my unhealthy obsession with this album. Then we're going to listen to it together, point out some stuff that we love, and then I'm going to try to play it, capo seven on my little acoustic, and we're going to try to sing. So that's what's happening in that order. This is going to be a playlist. I have to do every song in the Heavy Horses album, but we're going to go in reverse order, obviously, because we're starting with the Broad Ford, Broadford, Bazaar. Okay? And then Living in These Hard Times, etc., etc. Jethro Tull, I was introduced to them back in 19, uh, this album, 1978. Yeah, I was around then. I look pretty good for my age, don't I? Imagine. Some of you watching were around and saw them maybe in concert in 1978. And maybe if we have enough people who are so obsessed with this band, maybe you can make one of my dreams come true and we can all send him some spam mail and say, hey, go on Scott's Expression Music channel and meet him. He's obsessed. So this album, I discovered it uh, personally four years ago maybe. And then it hit me. I was just listening to Moths every day, all day. I couldn't get enough of it. My brother introduced this to me. He had the he has the the record underneath the cabinet where the TV is in his place. And I'm like, that's a sweet cover. Let's give it a listen. And I just was obsessed with Moths. And then he showed me the video of Ian Anderson just stoking a fire, smoking a cigarette, having a glass of wine. The best music video of all time. Simple, beautiful, calming real and raw and uh the last six months i've listened to this album almost every day <laughs> every day yeah i need help i posted on reddit that in this jethro tall uh in the subreddit that i'm like yo guys i just discovered jethro tall at age 32 i need help i can't stop listening and that's what's happening hey it, music has its phases with me, man. Like this is this is a big one though, and it's lasting for longer than I thought. <laughs> so yeah, it's been like every day for six months. So now we're gonna listen to it together, and I'm not really reacting because I know what's going to happen. But maybe I'll really pay attention and see if what kind of comes up for me, what comes up for you in this song. It's one of the most beautiful songs on the album. Uh, the whole album is so rustic and, and farm-like, and that was kind of the whole theme of the album when they're making it in 77. Like those, uh, those farms in the UK with the rolling hills and horses and hay. You should check out the Heavy Horses uh, video. And this song just is so bright and warm, soft, simple. It brings me to a place of, uh, it brings me to a bazaar. Anyways, let's listen. In three, two, hope you have some good headphones. One, noise canceling on. That's it, it's over, that's, it's over. Deck two white caravans down narrow road sailing. Oh! <laughs> Beepus Cortinas weaving in the wake. With hot red faced drivers, horns flattened, fists wailing. Putting trust in blind corners as they. Putting trust in blind corners as they overtake. How? Flattened fists wailing. What is that? Is He's talking about driver horns. Like, is this a flattened fist? And then they're pressing on the horn? The, the song is enough even without the lyrics. It, the way Ian Anderson plays the guitar... 
is so complicated and I can't come anywhere close to being that good with the acoustic, not even close. It's just so beautiful. And that's already verse one. It's done. And he's getting right into the right into the chorus because it's a fairly short song. And let's hear the chorus. And it's all come a willing now. Spend a shilling now. Stack up the bag of your new motor car. And there's home died ones and we bless the coolings the day of the Broadford Bazaar. Okay, so obviously his flute comes in mimicking the vocal range too, adding such a soft layer. Oh, God. My brother lives uh, in Vancouver, and we're in Toronto here. And uh, he gets something like every day from me. Like I'll be in the car and I'll take a picture of what's playing and it's heavy horses. Or then I'll just send him randomly. I sent him a lyric today. Actually, what did I send him? Oh, I said, in capital letters, I just sent him the cow jumped over yesterday's moon. <laughs> I sent him this other stuff. It's so funny with songs from the wood. I did this last week. I told him, uh, I was at a Starbucks and he's reading the text as they're going. I'm like, yo, I'm at Starbucks. This woman came in. She went on her knees and looking under the tables. And I was like, what's going on? And all the staff were concerned. She was hopping over the Starbucks counter, looking under the tables. And Craig, he, he was like, what, what happened? What happened? And then she says, have you seen the Jack in the Green? And then he got so mad. I played him. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's continue watching, watching, listening. Ready? Out to the north, no oil rigs are drifting. And jobs for the many are down to the few. Blue bottle choppers, they miss it no longer. Like flies to the gem pops, they were just passing through. So come willing now, spend the shilling now, stack up the bag of your new motor car. Would this be as powerful a song without the flute? It adds so much. How does he do it? How does he do it? Like, it's such a beautiful song. It's so nature. It's so outdoor. It's so people at the bazaar. Where one stood all rich so phallic, there's only swear words and Gaelic to say at the Broadford Bazaar. All kinds of people come down for the opening. I just can't believe it. I really don't know what this song's about, to be honest, but this is my favorite verse. Because now all kinds of people come down to the opening. Oh my gosh. And he's talking about spending a shilling now. I'm, I just picture... You know what I picture? I don't even know what it's called. That village in the Ocarina of Time. It's one of the markets. It's like a market. I don't know. Do, 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 Gamers, let me know. That's kind of what I think. It's like this market and people are in linen clothing and they're spending shillings on things and there's spice racks and meats and fish and poultry and everyone's smiling in the sunshine. Yeah. And there's cars. Let's keep listening. And crofters and cutters, white settlers galore. And up on the hill, there's an old sheep that's dying. But it had two new lambs born just a fortnight before. 
how you end an album yeah that I could listen to it again that's the thing I can just replay it over and over I don't know what happens in a song for it to have so much replay value but uh, I just unbelievable unbelievable did anyone feel that? Did you feel that? Say, yeah, I felt it. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking on uh, eBay and stuff for Jethro Tall paraphernalia, posters, albums. I don't know. Give me something to put on this wall to go beside the Roman Empire. <laughs> like, I need some Jethro in my life. Yes, my dream is to meet Ian Anderson. That's my dream. Just five seconds, and I'd just be like, thank you for Heavy Horses album, okay, bye. Like, I just need that much of his time. I saw him live uh, years ago, the Molson Amphitheater in Toronto, and that was amazing. But uh, everyone just thinks Aqualung is it. Locomotive Breath, those are my least favorite songs. Even Thick as a Brick, no. Wait till we get into songs from the wood. Uh, that make you feel much better than you should know. Then you could know. Oh, man. Okay, now we're going to play this song together. And uh, yeah, now that you heard the real thing, it's like, oh, we can compare how hard Scott will try. Okay, so I just still need the chords. Let's get it. Capo. This is on Capo 7, so it's very... High up. That's what that's what makes the song sound so light and beautiful and sunshine glowing and gold. It's you know the capo seven is also uh, that was my nails are really long. That's uh, you know here comes the sun. It, it's that sounds like the sun, doesn't it? The Beatles knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, this has that same bright, bright feeling. Okay, should we try it? Okay, let's try, uh, let's try playing this, shall we? So it's an A minor and then a G and then a D e minor and then a D and sometimes an F thing. I'm still practicing guitar. I'm new, so bear with me. You can't replicate Ian Anderson's voice. We know this. But let's just have some fun. Shut up, Scott. Just try. Gosh. Jeez. Dirty white caravans down narrow roads sailing. Viva Scotinas weaving in their way. With hot red faced drivers, horns flattened, fists wailing. Putting trust in blind corners as they overtake And it's all come willing now Spend a shilling now Stack up the back of your new motor car There's home dyed woolens and wee plaster collins The day of the Broadford Bazaar you want to do one more? Okay. <laughs> 